Είναι μια ιδιαίτερη τιμή μου και μεγάλη χαρά να είμαι μαζί σας σήμερα. Είναι ακόμα α, μεγάλη χαρά να είμαι η φίλη μου εδώ, α, κύριος Βαριτσότης και ο πολύ καλός φίλος μου, ο πρέσβης της Ισραήλ, ο Νόμ Κάτς. As this is World Ahead 2023 and the evening of intelligence and in-depth conversation, my wife was questioning why I would be invited to speak on this matter. <laughs> As she said, the bar is very, very low on you adding anything regarding intelligence or in-depth conversation. You might exceed it this evening, but she wished me luck anyhow. <laughs> Thank you for your very kind invitation. By any measure, this past year has been a success story in the U.S.-Greece economic relationship. We have seen merry American firms from Amazon Web Services, Microsoft, J.P. Morgan, and Meta, the parent company of Facebook, that have made big investments in Greece. When I think about the year ahead, I am more confident in Greece's economic future. More investments are on their way. The foreign direct investment in Greece is exploding. The U.S.-Greek ties have never been stronger or more consequential thanks to the work of the Greek government, thanks to the work of the American Chamber of Commerce, the business community, and many of you here tonight. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Greece is the fastest growing economy in Europe in the last three years. Greece is the fastest growing economy in the last three years. And isn't karma interesting? From the days when we couldn't turn on CNBC to say that we're going to kick Greece out of the EU, well, they have the fastest growing economy. Greece is resilient. Και κα καλύτερες μέρες Ελλάδας είναι μπροστά μας. Ουρκίζομαι. The cries of economic malaise are gone. In fact, in many ways, Greece's economic situation today is much stronger than its former detractors have acknowledged. And investors are noticing. I am proud of the fact that more American companies than ever before are calling Greece home and investing in our country's shared future. They recognize Greece's talent and incredible resources. For example, Chubb, a great American company, a global company, is launching a new technology center in Thessaloniki early this year. They have already been hiring people. Now, let me also point out that they're going to be joining Deloitte and Pfizer because they have discovered that Thessaloniki is a large and interesting pool of technological talent and hospitable business environment. I come from the C-suite, I wasn't a diplomat, but the single most important thing in business is the intellectual capital, what we call work-ready graduates. Kielnis ini poli exitmi ki spudasmeni. Ki afto ini para poli spodeo. That is the key to making Greece a very vibrant 21st century dynamic economy, and it will be so. In November, a U.S. firm, Aljon One, a public power corporation pilot for deploying the initial stage of fiber to the home project. This is going to be three million homes and businesses in Greece that are connected with fiber over the next four years. The U.S. lighting firm, Arioli is a growing company that works with major brands in the U.S., such as California Pizza Kitchen and American Girl. They opened up their newest office in Athens this year. Airbnb has worked with the Greek tax authority to create the first ever EU registration system deployed here for tracking tax collection and data sharing. This is a success. Looking ahead, I also see energy as the main sector where we can achieve even greater investments. Our country's energy cooperation has never been more consequential as Russia leads its devastating war of choice against Ukraine, a sovereign European nation. The United States proudly stands with Greece and supports Greece's role as a leader in energy security at this critical time, diversifying the region's valuable energy supplies away from artificially cheap gas, which they used in an extortive manner 
Now this was part of their geopolitical and geostrategic foreign policy. Now Greece is replacing them as the energy hub and supplier, not only leading an energy transition and energy diversification, but also decarbonization. But when Greece is the supplier to Southeast Europe in energy, they won't use it as an extortive manner. They will use it because they are a country of solutions. They respect their neighbors. They understand we are interconnected and we need to help each other. I do not know what would happen in Bulgaria if it wasn't for Greece's help. But that's Greece. They are always on the right side of history and they act with principle and they are solutions based. I have said this many, many times before, as there are challenges in this region, as the minister has said, and the United States cannot do everything. We look to partners that act in a reliable and ethical manner to help solve the region's challenges. And this is the Greece of today. I am so proud to be the United States ambassador here because our interest and our values are completely identical. Now this ethos is very important for Greece's economy and the region's collective security and prosperity. Greece is engaging in a series of projects that are contributing to strengthening its profile as an energy leader in Europe. The expansion of Revithusa, Signomin, the FSRU in Alexandrupoli, the development of future FSRUs in Alexandrupoli, Corinth, Volos, Kavala, and Thessaloniki are bringing new sources of LNG to the region. I am proud to say that 60% of the LNG that came into Greece this year was from the United States. In two years, we will completely eliminate Russia from the equation. Merotane poles fores. Tikanye mediki na buitaitin elada. Well, 60% of its energy came from the United States. Na ξέρετε, στέκομαστε δίπλα σας. Και αυτό δεν θα αλλάξει. leadership and the role that it can play is very evident in the Greece-Bulgaria interconnection pipeline and the soon-to-be constructed gas interconnector with North Macedonia. This will help supply the region. We face a myriad of challenges that will continue to require a close cooperation. From responding to Russia's unprovoked war in Ukraine to managing the threat of climate change and the efforts to support resiliency and recovery of the global economy. Even with these challenges, I see great prospects and opportunities in the coming year to help grow the U.S.-Greece trade investment relationship in energy, tourism, maritime, logistics, health care, and digital economy sustainability. No, I mean, just one very important point, because this point does not get made often enough. And I make it not as a criticism of any country, but I make it as something that's aspirational. I want to speak about something that I know is very dear to all our hearts, something that should be a key component in every economic calculation and that's gender equity. When Secretary Blinken launched the first U.S. strategy on global women's economic security to promote the economic security of women and girls, and I'm proud of the work my embassy does on coding for girls in Greece, what started out as a couple of hundred girls learning coding, and after the first day they would bring their mothers who we also found spots for. Google has now picked up this partnership and it's going to be offered to thousands of young girls and women throughout Greece. The economic security of women and girls in all their diversity is essential to the realization of human rights and to strengthening communities for all of us. It promotes peace and security. It builds resilient economies for the United States, for Greece, and for its partners. This week, I had the privilege of sitting down with Greek Olympic gold medalist Sofia Pekaturu, the founder of Greece's Me Too movement. 
She reminded me that when women are harmed, harassed, assaulted, or subjected to abuse in the home, they can't bring their full selves to the task of improving every citizen's life. Gender equality is both a moral and strategic imperative. We need to do better. We all need to do better. Specifically to this forum, you are the leaders of this country. And that's why I speak to you, so we can shine a light on this challenge to make sure that one day we come to a forum like this and this problem has been completely eradicated from our society. Unfortunately, that day is not today. So I urge, implore all of us to focus on this very important challenge that we have in all our societies, not just in Greece, in every society, including my own country of the United States. Removing the barriers to women's leadership promotes diversity, which in turn leads to better decisions, which in turn is best for the bottom line. It is not only the right thing to do morally, it is the right thing to do for the bottom line. We as leaders of the business and policy community have a duty to promote women's economic competitiveness and dismantle systemic barriers to women's economic participation. We cannot solve the world's problems by sidelining 51% of our intellectual talent. I ask us all to look at ourselves and ask, are we doing enough? If not, commit to making the change we all know is right and necessary. This must be our ethos, because this is our philotimo. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ.